This is Jack Fishman behind the camera speaking with Troy Peters, the music director of the Youth Orchestras of San Antonio. And I understand you're just completing Yosa's Summer String Camp. What is String Camp? Summer String Camp is this phenomenal opportunity for kids. We have 240 kids from all over San Antonio, middle school students, high school students, even some elementary school students. And they're all together for two weeks playing in orchestras, playing chamber music, learning music theory, and having a great time together. When do they start? Is it all day? Is it it's a 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we have bunch of orchestra rehearsals throughout the day, but then they have other activities to sort of break up the rhythm of that. So they have electives, they have uh, the chance to do music theory, play chamber music, have a little bit of fun time outside, and have lunch together, and, and things like that. And it's been going for more than 30 years. Oh, I had no idea it was that long. I hope you scheduled the fun time outside very early in the morning. Well, <laughs> the, the temperature's a challenge. In fact, today, I just came from camp, and today, on a 98 degree day, the air conditioning was broken. We had a chamber music concert anyway and soldiered through, but, but we have a really good time. And is this work that you're doing, how, how is it different from what Yosa does during the year? Well, the point of this is really to have the opportunity to have the intensive time together. And of course that happens at summer festivals all over the place, but this is really an entry level experience for st orchestra students who are just starting to think about getting serious about their instruments. So they often kind of take it to the next level. Many of them leave camp and go get a private teacher for the first time, or they leave camp and join Yosa during the year, have the chance to sort of extend their orchestral activities and become stronger members of their school program as well. And are there fees for participation? There is tuition for the camp, um, but we have a lot of financial aid available. And so in fact, um, fully a third of our students are there on some level of financial aid. And they have a chance to work with an amazing faculty. We have some of the best school music teachers in town there. We also have uh, a lot of great professional musicians, including a number of San Antonio Symphony players who are on the faculty at the camp. Now you mentioned some then go to private lessons after this. Is what's the, what is the role of private lessons versus the role of a, a YOSA, a youth orchestra? Well, ultimately, for somebody to really reach the level where they're able to play as a high school student at a high level and maybe potentially study music in college, they, they really need private instruction. That the tradition of classical music is a, a teacher to student kind of apprenticeship. And so no matter how great a school orchestra program is, or no matter how great a youth orchestra is, uh, there's just not the time to, to teach each student all of the technical skills to reach a high level of playing. So ultimately, private lessons give them the chance to supplement what they're doing in youth orchestra and in school orchestra and really become fully refined players. And I'm assuming that most of the year-round YOSA participants also play in school orchestra. So what's YOSA's role versus the role of a public school program? Well, that's a really important part of how we work at YOSA. We really believe that it's a mutually beneficial relationship, that ultimately, if students who are in their school orchestra program come and play in YOSA's orchestras, we have five orchestras at different levels, and if students come and play in our orchestras, when they go back to school on Monday, they are stronger musicians in their school orchestra program because the work they did at YOSA then has advanced their skills and they do a better job in school. The work they do all week in school means when they show up at YOSA the next weekend, they're even stronger at YOSA. And so we have a really strong uh, emphasis with our students on the expectation that they should be playing in their school orchestra program. When we find out that they're not, we really twist their arm and, and are almost always able to work it out so that students can continue to really be a part of both the school program and the youth orchestra program. But Yosa has also done things that schools couldn't. I know that you've done tours, pretty exotic places. Absolutely. I mean, I think the, what a youth orchestra does is it lets you gather the, the strongest, most advanced players from all over town. And even though San Antonio has some really phenomenal high school orchestras, as you know, that at our best, we can be uh, an experience that's, that's uh, uh, other things that a school can't do. Travel is one of them. Soloists can be another one. We've, we've brought in Jamie Laredo and Sharon Robinson last year, Edgar Meyer next year, um, being a part of working in a close relationship with the San Antonio Symphony, which our students really benefit from, things like that. 
um, that, that the youth orchestra does that are unique. But ultimately, it's a symbiotic relationship. That they, we can't succeed if the schools don't succeed. And, and so we really try to work together and have a lot of good relationships there. Well, we're excited that you're participating with, you're one of 11 different arts organizations participating in the Beethoven Festival next year, and you're doing the fourth piano concerto. Absolutely very excited about that, and the students are thrilled to play Beethoven. They always love Beethoven, and to be a part of the festival is just going to be a, an absolute delight for us. Well, congratulations on String Camp, and uh, I hope that the heat dissipates so the kids don't, or the air conditioning works at least. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thanks, Thank Jack. Thanks.